Hi, my name is Don Lauder, and this talk is about uh, uh, California uh, pest control licenses and, and the, um, its relevance to careers in agriculture. And this talk I'm, I'm giving for a, um, as a demonstration and lecture for College of the Redwoods, but I'm also going to leave it up on YouTube for people to be able to get an o overview of these licenses. Um, I don't have a classroom or a projector, so I'm going to use my monitor uh, as if it's uh, a uh, projection image on a, uh, a screen. Usually when I talk to students, I, um, I engage them, I ask them questions that I think might, you know, that are relevant to the talk, such as, you know, have they have, do they have any experience spraying anything or maintenance gardening or something like that. And, get them to relate to, to the talk, and obviously I can't do that in this, or um, even in front of the committees. Okay, the California Pest Control Licenses um, offer opportunities for careers in agriculture. Their, um, California has some of the most stringent pesticide laws in the world, and these laws apply to, even to organic and natural pest management and so if you make any recommendations about pest control um, as part of a business uh, you um, you need to have one of these uh, licenses these licenses are uh, administered by the California Department of Pesticide Regulation and so if you put it if you google for those words uh, and licensing, you will uh, find the, the web page that will give you all of the information about this. Now, there are a number of different licenses that the California DPR, the Department of uh, Pesticide Regulation, uh, has. The ones, the main ones that I'll be talking about here are the Qualified Applicator, uh, cer the applicator Certificate. There's also a license, but the certificate is, is more important. The maintenance gardener, a little bit, that those are similar. And then, um, most importantly, the Agricultural Pest Control Advisor License, which can be the basis for a good career. Now, all pest management recommendations, uh, which must be in writing, even for organic uh, purposes, um, and all sales or solicitation of sales of products or services for agricultural use must be done by a licensed pest control advisor. And then the application of materials must be done by a licensed applicator. And so I'm first going to talk about the qualified applicator certificate. This is, um, this is a fairly short process. It's, it's, it's a little easier, but you, you still have to study for the exams. You need to take, you first take the, uh, pass the laws and regulations exam. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Plus an exam one of these exams, uh, uh, the exam for, for one of these categories, one or more, you can do as many as you want. The main ones here for us are plant agriculture, animal agriculture, uh, landscape maintenance, um, there's forest, there's aquatic. These are all categories. Um, and then there's maintenance gardener. That's, that's also a, a, a popular uh, one. Okay, so you need to pass two exams, the laws and regu regulations, otherwise known as laws and regs, and one, uh, the exam in one of these categories. And so the laws and regulations exam, I'll just go briefly over the different parts of it. Um, you've got the pest pesticide registra registration at the label, and really the label is, um, is the most important part of the regulations. And, and, 90% of the time that, that we um, uh, make recommendations, it, uh, the first thing is to follow the label, read the label, and, and do what it says on the label. That is, and these labels are now more than just a, a sticker on the uh, container. They're actually booklets now. So that's the most important part of these uh, agricultural chemicals. And then you learn about the restricted materials and the, and the permit, permitting process. Uh, you learn about the different categories of licensing and certification. Um, and then pesticide storage, transportation, and disposal. This is all about uh, safety um, and uh, pesticide handler safety, uh, field worker safety, fumigation worker safety, um, and then pesticide residues. 
uh, and the environment and the you know safety for food, um, and then re, you know and reentry into fields, and you have groundwater protection and plus the Endangered Species Act you have to be aware of, and then you have the minimal exposure of pesticides which are highly toxic. Okay, so that's the um, the uh, laws and regs uh, exam, the, the different categories, and I can help students um, study for these and, 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 and uh, you know, get ready for these exams. Um, now I want to talk about the Pest Control Advisor license. Now this is uh, much more rigorous and is really the, uh, the basis of a, of a good career in agriculture and so much of, you'll have a lot more opportunities if you can um, get one of these licenses. Um, there's a looming shortage of PCAs in California and there's a, a lot of concern that um, th about this shortage and so I, I, I I'd urge you to consider getting one of these and you can specialize uh, if you want in the conventional you know chemical part or you can specialize in organic and natural pest control and many many PCAs cover both they have customers who are organic farmers um, as well as uh, conventional uh, farmers. The PCA license um, has three, uh, you know, getting one and, and keeping one has three uh, components, the education requirement, uh, the exams, and then the continuing education requirement. The education requirement has two components. One is uh, if you go the route of getting a bachelor's degree in agricultural sciences, you pretty much will, t will have all the classes you need. You need to look at what, what, uh, what they require uh, because there might be some in there that you need to take, especially for the PCA exam. Or you can go the community college route where you can take um, 45 semester units of, uh, of college courses in, that uh, having to do with you know crop health, pest management, and things like that. Plus, then you need two years of technical experience, and they have a whole list of, of, of uh, types of work that uh, can qualify you for this. And so those are the two areas for the, the education requirement. And after, you, the, after that, after you pass that um, uh, uh, thing, then you need then you'll uh, need to take an exam, and, and again, it has the, you have the laws and regulations exam plus the exam for at least one of these categories, and these are more rigorous than the, uh, than the uh, applicator certificate. Um, and so, for instance, I took the insects, mites, and other invertebrates, and I'm working on the weed control uh, uh, category. And so the key to passing these exams, you have to learn uh, the different, if, if you're going to do the insects or the arthropod um, category, you need to learn to identify insects. And so I developed flashcards using MS Word, and this is something that I can, uh, I can give you the file. You can print these out. I developed a way of just putting the picture on one side and then the information on the other. And then you just fold it over and glue it, and you have your flashcards with uh, most of the insects or all of the insects that you're required um, to learn and you can um, use these flashcards to really come up to speed on the the PCA license uh, exam. Okay and then the third uh, thing once you you get your license you need to um, take uh, continuing education courses that are sanctioned or certified by the California DPR and so for instance I just took the three-day uh, weed science uh, course, weed science school at UC Davis and learned, um, I uh, refreshed my knowledge of, uh, of weed ecology and, and then learned a lot about herbicides and the different classes of herbicides. And so that's all part of uh, keeping your license. Is you need to do 40 hours of classes every two years, which is it's actually a very useful. It, it's it's good for you to get there because you you meet people and you you keep up to date. And so the pest control advisor license, I I recommend it as a um, as a way uh, for you to have a, a a good career in agriculture. And there are jobs waiting for you out there if you can study for and and pass uh, the exams and get this license.